Hey guys, it's me, Marty, and welcome to this week's edition of First Impression Fridays here on the Diamonds and Denim YouTube channel. So, I am coming to you live in Miami vibe vibe. I don't know why I'm feeling so Miami today, but probably because that's where I want to go. I could use a good vacation right now. So, I'm at the Glam Station here, um, and I received this really cool shipment of... Uh, let me organize it the way they had it. I don't want you to be like, oh my god, those people really send it to you like that. Okay, that's close enough. I received a shipment of Bella et Arjan, um lipsticks. So I will say they did come in this little white box here. These lipsticks retail for $26 a piece. Just a little bit pricey, but we'll talk about that when we get into it. So I received three, four actually, three full size shades in three play doing it all in 4221. And I also received a little mini version, like a little trial size and lights and angles. So I did receive all of those. I was under the impression that I was getting just the three. So for them to throw in this extra little one, that was kind of sweet. That meant a lot to me. So um, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to try them all on. I'm actually wearing lights and angles right now. I'm going to try them all on. We're going to do the kiss test. We're going to examine each one of them. And we're also going to swatch them all on my hand. So if you want to see what I think about these products, you can just keep on watching. Thanks. Okay, y'all. So I am so excited, like probably too excited because I can't wait to try these out. So here they are. This is the little box that came in. It just came in a plain little white box. And I understand Bella and Aja is a pretty small line. So I wasn't expecting like a huge, like a Kylie box or any situation like that. But this box, could, it was a little lackluster, but trust me, they make up for it. So, well packaged, thank you, because I don't need stuff being broken. It is freaking like 8,000 degrees here in Louisiana, in Lafayette, Louisiana, and you see my chips are in the background? Oh, they're so freaking good. Anyway, so, um, so here they are. They're all Arter matte, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch them on my hand for you, and I'm going to try them on my lips as well, just so we can kind of see, well, going to do a kiss test, all that good stuff. So I'm trying to, I think probably lightest to darkest is the best way to go about this. Um, so I'm going to zoom y'all in a little bit so that y'all can see what's going on. So this is the matte jade doing it all. This is the little thing on the top of it. The bottom, I love their packaging, y'all to die they just need to work on the delivery box but the actual packaging is insanely beautiful so when you first open it this is the first one so i'm going to get a little more into the packaging on the first one you have this b as soon as you open the package which is again like even to consider how you put the package in the box so that when they open it the first thing you see is the b is really great um let me go over the actual outside box as well so the box is silver. It has the little um, squares on the top, the shade on the bottom. I'm assuming this sticker is like what the shade is going to look like. It has a picture of some lips. It's black, white, and silver. It says how to use. It says lip color on the top. They also have whether it's our tour. So it's the matte. You can see our tour matte right here. There is also the creme, which I've tried. I didn't care too much for the formula of the creme just because I just in general like a matte better. Let's take it out. Y'all, I love their packaging so much. Like I'm so excited to see what the full size bottle looks like. So this is the bottle itself y'all this component i mean definitely wants to talk about looks girl go sit down so i open this it slides open pretty easily but when you clamp it down you can kind of hear it listen so i'm gonna let it go watch it sits it's magnetic lux do i mind paying over 20 dollars for a lipstick that has all of this yes i mind paying over 20 dollars for anything but if i had to this would be where we're going this is beautiful like this is definitely staying out on the table this is the color itself oh it has little bubbles and stuff on it and little holes oh my god I feel um so uh, it has like little sweat marks but it it's again it's louisiana it is very hot so i'm gonna try it i don't see anything crazy in there i just see little oxygen bubbles and i see like sweat and it also has little pluses all over the side which is super cute too so this is doing it all okay so the color itself is good it's that that gave no problems i'm not gonna line it or anything on the first try just because i really want to see what it looks like uh-huh Okay, so truth time. I, it's not opaque. Okay, so I'll just say that it's not opaque. I have a mole on my, and I don't under, something is weird with the point that it's making it not like, do y'all see that it's making this weird line, like where the point would be? 
And because the point is so sharp, I thought that it would be like, there's little holes in it and stuff. That's crazy. Oh, I really, truly feel like I'm in a Jaclyn Hill video. So it's got like these little tiny holes and it's got these sweat marks on it, which I guess happens. I never have received actual stick lipstick in the mail. Like I, I don't do twist ups. I'm a liquid matte girl. So a twist up is a little different for me, but so this is doing it all. It's not hideous with a liner. I could probably do it literally with this kind of Miami nights vibe look that I'm doing today, tonight. I don't know. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. I just, I don't know. I'm trying to, okay. I, oof. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say right now. I'm, kinda, I'm a little, I'm scared to do a kiss test because I know that crap is going to come off. I don't remember if it said that it was supposed to uh, transfer resistant. I will say this, to say it's not matte, to me it doesn't look that matte. I mean, let's see, how to use. Wear alone for deeply pigmented color or pair it with our lip lure gloss for high shine add our vignette lip pencil for ultimate dimension right so on here it doesn't say anything about it being a long lasting lipstick or anything of that nature but it is a matte which makes me think it should stay long so let's see i also don't think it dried down to a matte all the way do you guys do y'all think it does it look matte to you i mean honestly it looks pretty matte to me but it looks more like a velvet than a matte that i'm used to but again like my favorite matte i, I I love the Kylie. I love the lip lingerie from NYX. I love uh, the Dose of Colors has a really good matte. And, and as far as sticks go, Kylie Cosmetics has a good twist up stick. And uh, Too Faced has the Peach Comfort Matte, which is also really good. So I'm not going to accept that this is kind of just how, you know, people like to say, well, that's just how it is. No, that's not just how it is because I've had others that dried down to a matte and that looked better than this. But anyway, so... <laughs> This is the shade of doing it all. Now, I do understand that that color is lighter for me. So maybe when I line it, I'll be able to show it to y'all in a different way and it'll look better. We'll see. So I'm going to do the kiss test and I'm nervous too because I feel like it's not going to stick. But fair is fair. So kiss test for, what is this one called? Doing it all. So kiss test for doing it all. did come off a little bit but it, i do still have some on my lips so i'm not i'm not again a twist up stick and a matte liquid lip is two totally different things so i think i'm comparing it to what i know and i mostly know those i don't know we'll see so next one is the one that i really really wanted to try which is called the replay so this is the um little sticker on the top of it same packaging same everything and i open this pretty little silver ball and again the first thing you see is the b I, whatever the lipstick is or isn't y'all the packaging is like insane and i've been told that the replay is a limited edition so it's not going to be available that long see this is what i was expecting it to look like that's beautiful Okay, so I'm going to swatch it right next to doing it all. I kind of wish they would have called doing it all doing the most. I just like that name. So y'all can see the difference in the colors. So this looks like my go-to matte shade. So let's see what's up. I will say this. So compared to my liquid lipsticks, it takes a long time to build up a color of these. Now, again, I'm not going to say that it's just because of the fact that it is a twist up and like a traditional lipstick. I call them twist ups, but that it's a traditional lipstick instead of a liquid lipstick. But at the same time, this one is pretty. First of all, let me say three play is beautiful. It's really, really pretty. Would be prettier with a lipstick, but when I have uh, an order that came with just lipstick, I like to just use the lipstick. So I'll update y'all on how that looks without, I mean, with um, a lipstick, a lip liner. But I, I do like this. It's just, again, it's not exactly what I was expecting and it's not exactly what I'm used to, honestly. I'm with as many matte liquid lipsticks as I have. I'm just, it's going to take me a minute to get used to a matte uh, traditional lipstick or twist up. But again... The packaging is outstanding like legit they're beautiful like I, I would if i would pay that much for a decorative like piece of art that would be somewhere in my house then i could pay that money for a lipstick just to see it on the shelf because the packaging is so pretty this one feels like it dried down more and it's really comfortable on the lips like it's not drying but at the same time i fear that it's not drying because it's not going to stay on my lips very long so three play I'm going to kiss test it. 
Again, a lot of transfer, but it is still on the lip. I don't mind if it transfers first, as long as I don't have to reapply it. But if I do have to reapply it, I'm not mad to pull that bottle out. I'm really honestly not. It's a beautiful component. All right, three play is pretty. It's a lot prettier than doing it all, I'll tell you that much. But it's just not what I'm used to, like at all. And I will say this, compared to the liquid lips, which again, I have so many of, it does not stain your lips nearly as much. Like it comes right off. But I guess it's like a dual it it's like a dual it a double ended sword because of the fact that it's doing it's not doing that because of the fact that it's not gonna stay that long. Like it's the same stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna go back on my foundation sponge and kind of re foundation around my lip and uh, the lip too, just to make sure there's no staining going on. And I don't see any, so that's good. Number three. So the third one I got is called 4221, which looks like a bright red, which I don't often do. So their packaging is just off all types of chains. So, oh, OK, so this is sweaty. Um, First of all, sweaty. There's a lot of little marks on it again. There's a lot of little sweat mark. I feel so badly about talking badly about Jaclyn Hill because these are some sweaty lipsticks. Pass that on my hand so you can see that's a pretty bright like tomato-y orange undertone red which i don't own so that's good if it works if it doesn't work then it can be as good as it wants it's not gonna work so ah uh, there's so okay do y'all see what just happened y'all see that little mark it's something about the point of it in the way it's shaped that makes it to weird things so this one formula wise and looks as you guys can see by looking at it this is definitely the most pigmented one. This is also the most matte one. And the reason I find it important to say that it's the most matte one is because I don't feel like any of them are truly drying down. Like they're not what I'm used to in a matte. Like they're not Kiss of Fire, you know? And if you haven't seen that review, you can I'll put a card up there for it. This one is for sure the prettiest of the three that I've tried so far, which is funny because the red was the one I thought I wasn't going to like that much. But out of the ones I do have, this is pretty. And it, and again, it's matte and it just, it's pretty. This is 4221. Let's do a little kiss test. I mean, straight, that looks fake. Uh, a lot of it transferred, a lot of it transferred. But I like the way the kiss print looks. But again, still, still on the lips. Still on the lips. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's just still not really what I'm used to. And it didn't dry down all the way. But it is matte, though. This one is very matte. And I, I do think it's beautiful. Last but not least, we got one more to try. This one, 4221, did stain my face. Did stain my skin a little bit. But I think it's because it was such a bright, beautiful, tomato -y red color. So... Okay, people, so last but certainly not least, I have Lights and Angels, which is the, it's, okay, so this was a bonus one. I knew I was getting three of them, right? I knew I was getting the three full-size ones, but they just kind of threw this one in, which I thought was really, really nice because a lot of companies, the majority of companies, most companies don't do that. So I just thought that was really, so this is beautiful as well. This looks more like the Ipsy sample that I had gotten a while back um, in Click Your Heels. But that one, I believe, was a uh, that one was a satin or like a cream or whatever it was called. I gave it to my mom because I don't mess with those. Really. This one is a matte good, so that's good. Lights and angles, maybe? Lights and angles. Okay, so lights and angles. Oh, she's vamp. Okay, lights and angles. Again, this one doesn't have any sweat marks or anything. This is just a really pretty plummy color. Let's see. Swatching it. Okay, it's a little pinker than I thought. Uh, this is actually a color I might use. I was going to give it to my sister. She's going to be mad because I think I want to keep it. Um, there is just something about the shape of the stick that drives me crazy. It makes it difficult to apply. I don't know what it is, but I know it's aggravating the crap out of me. I know that much. Because, like, see how up here it went off? So this one is Lights and Angles. What is this? Okay, so this was on the lipstick, on the component, but it's red. See that color? It's not the same color as on my lips, but that was what was on the component. So that's a little odd, but maybe it's left up. I, but they didn't touch. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. So again, this is Lights and Angles. I should I clean up a little bit. So again, I have the same issue with lights and angles that I have with most of them. I don't feel like it's drying down all the way. Like my lip could not still be this shiny after two minutes. Like that's insane for a matte lipstick. 
Now on my on the swatch, it does have a little tiny bit of shine to sheen to it. You can't really see it on the on the camera, but it has a little tiny tiny bit of shine to it. A true matte when it dies down dries down should not have any kind of like shine. Like see how it's like sheeny. I did not add any. Oops, sorry. I did not add any lip balm. I didn't do anything like that. I just went straight into it and applied it. And I don't know, Bella Jean. We're gonna try kiss test full on lip print. So, but again, it's still attached to my lips, so I'm not mad at it. So, let's go over all of them. Thankfully, with lip swatch videos, I don't have to go back and forth. I don't have to do anything else like it's just the lips. So, let's talk about Lajon. So, here's the issues. I will tell you of all the makeup I've tried recently, lipstick wise, this is definitely my least favorite. Um, but right off the bat, it is a um twist up a traditional twist up lipstick instead of a liquid which is what i'm used to so that's probably not entirely their fault that's probably partially my fault too the sweat beads and the bubbles on some of them did kind of freak me out a little bit just because i've literally never seen that outside of a video about the jaclyn hill lipsticks but at the same time i've never received twist ups in the mail so i don't know what they're supposed to look like two of them did have those bubbles sweat bubbles and they had like little holes in them and the other two didn't. So I don't know what that means either. That's a little weird to me too, but whatever, I don't know. But um, I did have the cream and now trying the matte. I do prefer the matte formula. Like it feels better on the lips. But what I don't like is that, as you can still see, it's still kind of shiny. I don't like that. If I want a matte, I don't want a satin. I don't want a creme. I don't want any of that crap. I want a matte lipstick. And I don't feel like I got that with these. Overall, to give for the these four shades, which are right here, I have doing do it all, doing it all, doing it all. I have three play. I have two two one. What was it? Four two two one, and lights and angles. And on the swatches are gorgeous. They are, and I think that when I put them with a lip liner, all four of them I think are doable. But they're not mattes. They did not dry down to mattes on my hand. Um, the first three, the big ones, look like mattes, but the last one to me still looks like a satin. But I've said this before, and I'm gonna say it again. I said this last time actually with the Nick, the the Nicks. With the Ipsy Order, their packaging is sublime. This is the package. Now, I understand that a package is nothing if the product isn't good, but at the same time, people pay for art all the time just to put on their mantle or on the wall. I get that. I would pay for these just for this, for the art. The lipstick itself, I wouldn't suggest to someone who is a like used to matte liquid lipsticks like i am like my sister who does i don't really see her with a lot of matte liquid lipsticks my mom goes back and forth so for both of them i would suggest it but if you are a hardcore matte lover like i am i mean y'all can see this is not matte this is not matte at all so um they're also, in my opinion, a little bit pricey, but you're paying for the packaging because the packaging looks like this. I don't know. So out of five diamonds, I would have to give the Belle, Belle and Argent, um, Artur Mats. I'd have to give them three out of five diamonds. And honestly, they got the three points mostly because of the packaging. It would have been a two. I just don't, they don't, they're beautiful, but they just don't really work. The actual lipstick itself doesn't really work. Look at the stay on power. Okay. So I've not been talking to y'all for a while using that last one. And, and I knew it wasn't going to stay on. I could feel that it's not drying down. Like if I would rub these swatches, they're going to all mix and be like brown Play-Doh and that's not going to work. So I will say, oof, because I haven't said it enough, the packaging is insanely beautiful. It is amazing. It's gorgeous. It's everything. But look at this. Watch. Okay, y'all ready? I mean, I really didn't even pull that hard for it to do this. If you watch one of my, uh, like, if you watch one of my Kylie Cosmetics reviews, I'll put a link at the top. When I do the kiss test and the swatch test like that, I may have a tail of a lipstick, but I've never seen anything like that. That was not... I'm sorry, Bella, Bella Argent. I think it's a little bit overpriced. The lipsticks themselves are not all that. So I'm sorry. I have to give them three out of five diamonds. But thank you so much for watching this week's edition of First Impression Fridays and my Miami Vice look. I don't know why I'm feeling Miami. Maybe because that's where I want to go so badly. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave it in the comment section below. Or, of course, you can always hit me up on social media. 
which is always the last slide. I'll see you guys next time. Same fab time, same fab channel. Bye.